This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Constable Sean Keoghan with us. You are for the Smith Falls Police Department. You are our community service officer. And we've got Angela Dempsey. Thank you very much. You've been a while since you've been here, but uh, welcome back. You are with the Smith Falls Firefighters Association. And uh, the two of you are working together on some events, and we're going to talk about that right now, too. Lots going on, so let's get right at it, Sean. There is a lot going on. Thanks for having us both out um, for myself again and for you first time with me anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um, so um, this is hopefully the start of a great uh, working relationship that uh, Fire and Smith Falls Police are going to have with bringing events uh, to the town and raising awareness, uh, raising funds, uh, helping out the community, just growing awareness, right? Mm -hmm. So we've got a lot of great things coming up. Uh, We've got um, May 17th, we've got Coffee with a Cop at Starbucks. It's going to be hosted by our local Starbucks uh, up on Lombard Street. We've got um, the Bike Rodeo that uh, the Kinsmen have put a lot of great effort in. Um, so that'll be down on uh, May 27th down at uh, the Rink of Dreams, I believe it was. The, the, the uh, Jerry Lowe Rink Jerry is what Lowe I call Lowe it. Arena. Yes, yeah. yes, thank you for the correction on that. It was uh, sponsored and donated, right? So. Right. Uh, so that will be down on um, Lansdowne Street uh, by the Youth Arena. Um, we've got a the Special Olympics Golf Tournament. Uh, excited to keep promoting this. Uh, that'll be June 14th. There will be the opportunity for teams to uh, enter and participate uh, in the event. There will be uh, dinner tickets that are available if you didn't want to necessarily golf. They're also looking for great volunteers. So if anybody's looking to volunteer, um, we've got uh, two different people that are looking uh, or will be taking those calls and that'll be up on our uh, Facebook page. You can find that through us or through the Kinsmen. Um, we have on May 15th, a Special Olympics Appreciation Barbecue that uh, our police association is putting on uh, and our past um, CSO, Aaron Tompkins, has put a lot of work into that. So that'll be at May 15th for our Special Olympians uh, at our station. Another great one coming up uh, June 2nd, uh, the tolling uh, for the Special Olympics will be coming up again and we'll be uh, hosting that, looking at that uh, under the bridge on uh, Cornelia Street. And then again on the day after, the Saturday, June the 3rd, we're looking at our Special Olympics torch run, so the law enforcement torch run, again to help raise funds for... And come out and see all our athletes too, the, as many as, as possible, come and join you. And uh, we usually start at the uh, Settlers Ridge Centre. That's right. Is that where we're going to be doing it this year too? Th that or? is my understanding. It's okay. going to uh, it's going to start off at uh, the Settlers Ridge Mall um, and then end up at the community center around uh, 11 is when that's supposed to uh, to wrap up there. And all our great Special Olympians are coming out for both the tolling as well as the run. Uh, please come out and support, uh, cheer them all on and uh, any little contribution helps, and right? So, so does the golf tournament. The golf tournament is all going to our Special Olympics too. So, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And we just received an update uh, regarding our Polar Plunge. Um, so provincially $850,000 was raised wow. uh, for the Special Olympians uh, for Ontario. So that was a, a big joint effort uh, with, across the province uh, with law enforcement. And we had the, the great support and help of fire uh, with that. We had the, they cut the hole for us. And you great, jumped. I jumped. You jumped. Had, Did you jump? I did. Yeah. You jumped. Yeah. We, we had some. We had some good jumpers. We had great turnout. Great support. People coming just to cheer people on, and yeah. uh, the funds raised. And you actually um, jumped in the river here. What was it? February, January, February. Uh, it was February. F it was yeah. It was cold. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was really cold, and the windshield was cold. <laughs> yeah. <Really cold. laughs> the so wind didn't go, help us. You got in. You got out. You ran. You ran. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Well, it was all for our Special Olympics athletes too. Absolutely. So thank you very much for doing that and too. My friend from Fire's got uh, two great events coming up. Yes, That's, Angela. Uh, yes, you've got some events coming up too. So I'm in Smith Falls Firefighters uh, Department uniform today, um, but I'm speaking on behalf of the association. So the Smith Falls Fire's the Fighters Association is just um, retired um, current volunteers or um, also career volunteer fire or career firefighters. Um, so um, our big event, well, there's a couple of big ones coming up and there's uh, some excitement coming up in October too. But the May 13th is our garage sale, car wash and barbecue. So the garage sale is all 
items that have been donated directly from the community. So we we reached out to the community, was like, hey, we really want to have a garage sale. We need to um, raise some funds for the association. And the response has been absolutely spectacular oh, from the community. spring cleaning. People are spring cleaning. Exactly. Cleaning. So we have lots of different knickknacks. We have a bunch of really interesting items um, available. So that starts at 8 o'clock on May 13th. And where's um, that going to be at? It's going to be at the Fire Hall, so 77 Beckwith Street. Okay. Um, so, and that's where we'll do the car wash too. We also have a gift basket that was donated um, by a local community um, member business. Um, so there's going to be raffle tickets for that as well. And it's a car wash basket. So like you can have your first spring car wash done <laughs> by us and then you'll be able to keep up with it for um, the rest of the time uh, with a wonderful gift basket That's and good. spring cleaning. <laughs> exactly. <Absolutely. laughs> and then June 10th, we're having again at um, the hall, the department hall, uh, 77 Beckwith Street, we are having a touch the truck event. Last year's touch the truck event was quite successful um, and we're actually doing it during the day this time. So June 10th, it starts at, I believe, 11 a.m. and then it goes till three o'clock. We're going to have um, face painting, um, we're having the barbecue again, it's a $5 donation per family or canned, good, uh, canned items for the food bank mm -hmm. um, as an entrance fee. Um, we'll have all four trucks out, we'll have career and volunteer firefighters who uh, will watch. We've got target practice. We also have Campbell's Trucking bringing their two new trucks. We have Healy coming and we've reached out to a couple of other community partners uh, community businesses that we're waiting for a response from. Um, so the barbecue is going to go, the funds raised will go to the association. However, um, uh, we're going to look at potentially matching half of it to um, the food bank as well. So uh, we know our food bank is struggling. Yes, um, they are right So we wanted to do something that could help both of us. So, out so um, the face painter is face painting by Andrea and she has agreed to she's her prices are listed um, but she has agreed to give a donation out of her um, funds to to the food bank so it's are you cool. like their event planner because <laughs> <laughs> wow. um, somehow I've got uh, you've got that title I've got that. nominated president so oh, <laughs> oh okay she handles it very well doesn't <laughs> she yes she does president the event planner that's for sure that's for sure so it's, I think this wonderful that fires yeah. uh, participating with the community and yeah. uh, you know the some of the proceeds will go to uh, worthwhile causes um, you know the boots on the ground as well as the food bank and the community gets to come out and see their local firefighters, see uh, some of the construction vehicles that are going to be around as well as their own fire trucks and hopefully we'll have a couple of vehicles out to be able to support as well. Oh, and uh, coming, yes. We'll, uh, again, more great partnerships to, yeah. uh, to help out the community and uh, chip in where we can, right? That's right. And events like this makes people, especially children too, more comfortable talking to our, you know, local police officers, our local firefighters, so that, you know, in the need of a, an emergency or something like that, they, they're comfortable. Or if they need help, they well, know I can call. We want to grow those Shaman. relationships and, en and encourage yes. uh, the, the, the positive uh, yes. first connections and bonds, right? And mm -hmm. we are uh, embedded in the community. We are part of the community. Uh, we, we work here, we shop here, you know, we donate here. Um, this is what we want to see grow. Um, and that's for police, fire, EMS, uh, all the frontline uh, workers. And we want to encourage those relationships. We want the people to come up and say hi and have Absolutely. a chat with us. And Absolutely. You are members of our community as well. You're not always walking around with a uniform on. You go true. grocery shopping and you go to the park and you go to yep. <laughs> the restaurants and everything too. So. Local Bears games. Yes, yes the Bears they, games. They, yes, quite successful yes. up until the end. So. Yes, yeah, yeah. We did right up to the end. We did right up to the <laughs> end. Well, for more information or more of a, you know, details about our, our uh, events, more of it will be put on uh, the local Facebook pages, uh, whether it be through the Kinsmen, uh, through the Special Olympics, uh, through the Smith Falls Police, as well as uh, through the Fire Association. There'll be stuff going up on uh, lo local Facebook pages as well. So. And a lot of our stuff is linked to the Town of Smith Falls events calendar as well. Right. So. Right. You, you both have great Facebook pages. That's where my go-to all the time. My social media is Facebook. So that's, that's where I always find you and you've got all your list of events and everything too. So 
For and more information, that's how it is. And more to come. Angela teased with a little uh, reminder of something that's going to happen in October. So We're stay gonna, tuned, everyone. That's right. Yeah, yeah, for sure, that's for great. sure. Look forward to spreading the word about Conditional approval. That. Yes. <laughs> it's a big tease, right? Conditional interview. Yes. <laughs> have you back. Absolutely. We'll have you back along before then, though, for sure, for sure. Thank you very much for joining us again. Constable Sean Keoghan and Angela Dempsey, thanks very much for joining us. Everything you do for our community, we look forward to going out all, all of your events. Thanks so Thank much you. for having us. Thank you. Appreciate it.